Alrighty, so it looks like CBC posted the POV super early. Um, that's cool. I guess they got an exclusive reveal. So I'm just going to react to the POV and it is absolutely insane. So the ride facts weren't all posted by CBC, but it looks like it's going to have a 246 foot drop into a tunnel into an Immelman loop, which then goes into a zero G roll. And this ride looks like it's going to take the inversion record, the tallest drop record, and most likely the longest dive coaster record as well as most unique. It has a vertical loop. Um, who was expecting that? I, I know for sure we weren't. Um, and we had the blueprints, which you'll all see soon. Um, but there's a trench, there's a vertical loop, there's a dive loop back with um, some over the tree element into a very long MCBR, which then kind of slows the ride down and it goes into um, a much slower portion of the ride. So this is the part where it just drops down next to the lake and then goes into the helix type element or banked curve, whatever you want to call it, into the brake run. This ride looks absolutely insane. Um, so uh, we'll be uh, posting all of our videos tomorrow at 5.30 in the morning. Hope you guys enjoyed um, this video. Comment down below what you think of this ride. It looks absolutely insane. Love the color scheme, seeing it as a complete ride now. Um, give the video, video a like, subscribe if you haven't, and share this for others to see because this is awesome. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. Enjoy the POV from CBC. I'm just reacting to it, so go on over to their page on MSN um, on CBC as well, and they have all the ride facts and the video as well. Um, have a good one, guys. Bye.